My final comment, my dear brothers and sisters, this past week brought good news from Iraq, where the Iraqi army, along with the volunteers in that country, had launched a huge offensive against ISIS. And this offensive resulted in retaking the city of Tikrit. And alhamdulillah, Iraqi people were, were able to deal a big blow to ISIS and Daesh, who were rooted out of, the, of that city. And it seems that the Iraqi army, supported by volunteers, are pursuing that victory all the way till they kick all these elements of Al-Qaeda and ISIS from the Iraqi territory. I would like to make one comment. The Iraqi army was able to achieve this victory only because it was supported by the people, people of Iraq, and by the Marji'iyya, and by the religious leadership, particularly the leadership of Ayatollah al-Sistani, Hafizahullah. People who volunteered to defend their country and to root out these terrorists from their country. Now those volunteers, if you read carefully, they happen to be Sunni and Shia, both Sunnis and Shia. Yes, the majority of them are Shia due to the demographic of the Iraqi people. Shia are the majority in Iraq. But that does not mean Sunnis were excluded. Indeed, there were many Sunnis who were part of the campaign as well, who participated, who volunteered, who shed their blood also in fighting these terrorists. So it wasn't a Shia versus Sunni issue at all. It was a story of a nation, Shia and Sunnis, Christians and Muslims, and all people fighting a bunch of terrorists who have hijacked Islam and have been committing atrocities in the name of Islam unjustly. And we need to be careful about that. Unfortunately, the media in the Middle East, supported by some Arab countries, and often here in this country, when they talk about these, those volunteers, they call them the Shia militia, distracting people from the fact that they are not representing only the Shia community. They are representing the whole community with all its fabrics, Sunni, Shia, Kurds, Arabs, Muslims, Christians, all people are participating in this war against ISIS. But unfortunately, there are some Arab countries, for a political reason, they are trying to turn the fight between the Iraqi nation and ISIS into a Shia Sunni fight. So they would, they would provoke sectarian sentiment in the region, something that we don't need to see, something that Muslims need to be above of, something that Muslims have to be against, that ISIS is not fighting Shia-only people. Look how many Sunni people were killed in Mosul, in Anbar, in Syria, in many other places. Sunnis were killed as well. The Jordanian pilot who was burned alive by ISIS a few weeks ago, he was not a Shia. He was Sunni. Many religious scholars in Mosul who opposed the rule of ISIS in Mosul and killed by ISIS were not Shia. They were Sunni scholars. So it is very unfortunate to see some people, some forces, some governments are trying to turn this into a Shia Sunni issue. It is not. It is a fight between the world and the terrorists, between Haq and Batil, 
between those who live, believe in coexistence between different denominations and those who believe that only one way, their way is the right way. And those who oppose them, they need to be killed and they should be killed. And they are killed.